Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I've got a quick tip on getting rid of cymbal bleed in your tom tracks. Uh, so this is what I'm working with in this song. I want that tom to have like a nice hard attack with bright stick attack. I've already got an EQ on this. This looks like this. Accenting the attack. I've got a resonant high pass filter that uh, accentuates the low end here. So that's without the EQ and here it is again with it on. Right, that low end just blooms and it sounds really nice. There's only two tom hits in this entire song. So what you can do is just trim this out like that. So that was a trim, trim to selected area. Let me find a, that shortcut for you. Trim items to selected area. Got that set to command T or D. So here's the trick that I wanted to show you. Uh, we can separate this out into attack and sustain portions of the sound. And it can help to put that onto another track. So I'll just insert another track below. And I'm going to grab my attack and drag that down. And drag that down. Just bypass the EQ. And we have here the sustain. Right? And we have the attack portion. OK. Next, we want to apply some EQ to this. So I usually just use re-EQ just like this. And we want to pull down the, uh, the high frequencies on this. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, and I'll just copy that to the next one. OK, and then I'm going to extend the I'm going to extend this a little bit so that when I drag it up here, it will fade. So I'm going to grab both of them. I'm just going to move it up. And now I've got a crossfade. And let's turn on that track EQ again. I've got repeat on, I'm sorry. And there we go. That works a lot better. And we can fine tune this. That's much better. So you're probably wondering why can't we just put this on the track? So let's just try that out. I'm going to copy that over and then I'm going to bypass the EQ here and this EQ here. This is the this one is for here and this one is for here. So th these two are turned off. It's just the track EQs on now. Here's how that sounds. Right, pretty dark sounding. Turn this on, turn this on. And I'm just going to uh, solo the drum mix here and play that section again. And there you go. There's no cymbal bleed in that tom. It's really easy. Just an EQ as item effects on the tail section. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.